very young in the primary school. I was in uh, some kind of class with a topic from biology. Yeah. And I got to uh, natural science and I asked a question. I said, well, in the, in the last hour I had something in biology. And then the, the teacher said, well, that was in biology. Now we are... And I had something like, no, 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 no. It's all uh, interdependent. Connected. It's all connected. It's yeah. coming together. And I always see that. And especially for the human body and how it works. Like our mind, our body, our health, our soul, our view, our heart, mm. our heartbeat... Uh, the things we make, the things we love, how we connect. Uh, I think it comes together. And to learn more about how it works inside us, instead of learning biology in the outside version, yeah. I think it all starts really inside of us. I think it's very well said. I, I always think like that. And I sometimes discuss with people that, you know, the current modern education that we follow, it's a little bit more boxed. It has a different purpose, but uh, it serves more like as different subjects, uh, because there has to be some kind of an outcome, which is very true, yeah. making you industry ready. Yeah. Uh, let's say if that is one motive out of it. But yeah, very rightly explained that everything is connected. And uh, if you try to see it uh, differently, uh, there could be, you know, some areas that you would miss. Yeah. Uh, and on the other hand, there are so many humans. So we have all a part of the puzzle. There, there is no, no one truth. Mm. I know we all come from source. Yeah. And that energy is always um, inside of us, around us, but also in the spaces between us, but also in every subject, in every form, in every situation. When we really f follow the natural flow of energy that's inside of us, but also outside of us, and we are in a path that is natural fitting, then everything is working out. And most of the time we put obstacles uh, between in relationships, in the firms we are working with, with the money, with the children, with our spouses. And when we really understand what's happening inside of our energy and we listen to that, everything will work out. But most of the time we get in our minds and we get in our sorrows and we get in our anger or in, uh, 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 we get scared. And then we don't use the, the part of the brain that really helps us to get in a relaxed state, in our gamma state, in our alpha state. Just relax, just following our breath, following our heart co coherence. When we do that, everything falls into place. But most of the time we, are, we want to control things and we want to, be, to do it perfect. And we, oh, if this is going to happen then. And you can see it at my, I'm just going away at my straight line. And I'm relaxed, just like here, and breathe in, breathe out. And then my prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that really can focus, can open, get ideas, get the creativity. When I'm in a total relaxed state, everything uh, uh, I have entrance to. I can, I can open... Uh, creativity, I can open ideas, I can listen more profound uh, to what's in me, to what the other person is saying. And bringing that together, it really works. But most of the time, 80% of the time, people are in, their, in the back of, their, of the brain and there's the amygdala. And it, it is about fear, it's about control, it's about competition. And when we are in that state, sometimes it helps us to bring something. But being aware where we are, and just bring ourselves back in the state of relaxed. We open our crown chakra, we feel our heart, we feel, even we feel our breath through our bodies, and we feel that we are sitting in a chair, and we feel the energy around us, we feel the energy between us. And then we are, then we connect. Yeah. Miracles can happen. Wow. Yeah, I think you, you, you have already put some uh, basics for, for today's discussion uh, yeah. that we should explore a little bit more. Yeah. Before, before jumping into the details, uh, you mentioned about brain, you yeah. mentioned about mind and, and more about chakras, awareness. Uh, how does, uh, like, if in simple terms one has to start with, uh, I think there is a part of the mind which is always active and there is one which is, uh, you don't realize it's active but yeah. there is... 
but maybe would you like to throw some light on it before yeah. we you know go into the yeah. details yeah how is it called and things yeah. like that yeah yeah that's very good to to make it uh, very easy uh, yeah we say it in dutch in yip and Janneke language yeah. uh, um, that you have the conscious and you have the unconscious mind and uh, it's already there when we are born and and the mind uh, uh, the brain has to grow bet between uh, zero years old and 24 years uh, it's the final stage when the brain is okay. So in the secondary school, even uh, between the age of 11, 24, 25, we still have to grow our brains. So there are lots of things are just working out. So when we are in a secondary school and I speak with teachers, I say, oh, they are so uh, uh, loud and they cannot sit on a chair. And, and then I think, well, that's also not the natural state of being because they are just growing into their brains and they have to learn all kind of things and, and energy wants to flow and not sit down on a chair when we get uh, when we teach uh, things. So um, we have a, a conscious state of mind yeah. and, uh, and, and uh, happily a lot of things also happen unconsciously. For example, we get all kinds of patterns and conditioning. Um, imagine that you stand up every morning and you need to know how you get to the shower and how you have to learn that every time again. No, they get uh, automatically pattern in it. So we know I put on this button, do this thing, or go to the shoppings, shopping store, and I know how, how it works. And I know how the things work. So the automatic patterns, they are lots of the time they get unconscious. But uh, th this is the good thing, that we have uh, some automatic patterns that we repeat a lot of times, it's okay. But mm. when it becomes a problem, when we get patterns from our ancestors or from our parents or our teachers, that we're uh, born out of stress, born out of survival, born out of um, competition because I'm afraid that something is going to happen. And then when I adapt or just uh, learn that pattern from someone else and it gets stored in my body, every time a life situation comes up, I get triggered. And I'm going to react like uh, screaming or holding myself back. And that it feels uh, not relaxed. It feels like uh, uh, I'm imprisoned in what's happening instead of our free attention. That's the way out. So we will have conscious and unconscious patterns and the challenge is that every time that we feel that we are kind of present we get attention to something like six seconds staring at the pencil mm. and I can hold my attention back and I get more conscious about ah this is running the show this is the pattern so there are very little tricks to notice if we are in our conscious or unconscious pattern and uh, it really helps us. Uh, we cannot do that all the time. Because mm -hmm. during the day, there are lots of things are going there, unconscious patterns. The normal, natural human flow of being and energy, all is energy. That's my first line. Mm -hmm. All is energy. So we are energy and everything in our body is energy. Everything in the connection is energy and everything around is energy and all the forms that we have in life are made of energy. And when we are totally aligned in our own energy, like we are natural born, uh, a natural flow, natural state of being. I always call that when you have tra traffic light, you're green light. You're uh, feeling relaxed. Uh, uh, you feel that you shine. You feel that you are relaxed in your body. You feel it in the whole energy. Everything is okay. Everything will work out. I just feel right now at this moment, I can feel that also in the connection. That's interesting. Yeah. But when we get really uh, uh, sometimes excited or stressed, we, uh, you can see it at my body because I'm very natural in that also. I just go out of my energy because, ah, that's interesting. That's okay eh? when we are enthusiastic or yeah. when we get scared. <gasps> I just uh, uh, get in the middle of my body. Something is just going like this. And at that moment, when I'm not conscious and I'm just acting on it, all kinds of other things are happening. 
a very um, simple example. I always say to, uh, to people in my coaches, but also in my own life, when I'm stressed and I get out of, out of my house in the traffic, everyone reacts stressed at me. They are just uh, going with the cars like this. And, and when I'm just like relaxed and just go and it's okay. And all the traffic lights go in the green light. And it also feels like I am on the green light. But when we get the red signs in our life, the red flags, it's like the red traffic light or already orange. We can feel it in our bodies. We can feel it in our breath. We can see it in our eyes. We can feel it in how we express things. If we, we get more tight in our, in our face. And the only first thing we have to do is just <sighs> breathe out. And when it is a lot of stress, do it six seconds in. Keep the breath, six seconds out, and just stay there for a while. And immediately the body responds like, oh, it's okay. And take a rest like we do now in the conversation. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can relate to a lot what you said. Uh, and thanks for breaking it down in simple words uh, from the real life situations. But even further, you know, like, would you like to put some examples uh, that you came across, uh, you know, where such things happen with people and yeah. maybe some example from your coaching? Yeah. Can I, and, and, and before I do that, can I um, just introduce my Matryoshka uh, dolls just to show how that works? Yeah. <laughs> because it's such a simple method and then I can put some examples to it and, and break it more down. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, it's so I, I, I will bring the Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Uh, so this is also yeah, that's interesting. Live so during our conversation. Yeah, yeah we have so, so we have a, a five but the Matryoshka dolls that are the dolls that are that you put in the other doll and the other doll and the other doll, and for example, like this is me or any other person right now in this present moment. So that's all I have become. It's my. Uh, ego, it's my uh, patterns, it's my uh, job, it's the family I have, the friends I have, the choices I made, but also my soul is in this, uh, the, 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 the things that, that are brought in my family, uh, the, the country I live in, the cultural patterns, the conditioning, the programming, the study I did, so everything is in here. So this is treasure, there's a lot of it in every mm. person. But then we break it down to something else. We, we all start like this. It's the, the, the human little, um, uh, the little child, the, the baby that comes, but it's really uh, very near to source. It's almost source itself. And you look at baby's eyes, you can see source. They are so enlightened. They are so bright. They are so uh, uh, yeah, just, just connected to what we are all uh, is the source of energy. Mm. So there's when it starts. It's around uh, zero and before zero. And it ha we have lived several lives. So that's all in this little uh, first puppet of the Matryoshka. I also call it the soul puppet. Yeah, like a soul with, with the journey it has went, it yeah. went through. Yeah, before you already came on Earth. Yeah. Then there's a sort... That's your soul. Eh? And you also can see it when, when a baby is, there's a already energy around it. They are very active or they're very uh, in rest or are they are just looking around and making a lot of sound. So the moment you see a baby, you can, there's something that you feel an energy. That's very interesting. Just look at babies when you see them and every baby has already his own sign. And its own energy and its own, it's even with the names that, that you feel that fit with them. It comes with a name. So that's so very interesting. That's all there. So we have there the life that we lived, uh, where we are with all things and where it started. But in between there are some other puppets. So we have here, between the moment we are born and the moment that... Uh, uh, we get seven years old, okay. there is a path between it, so yeah. zero, seven, and then we have already our first experiences. And that might be very small things that trigger us. 
especially when uh, it might be very small, like you are, we are brother and sister, we get an ice cream, and the moment that our mother does not look at us, you hit my ice cream, it falls on the ground, and my mother says to me, well, you have to look better for your ice cream, but she does not see that you did it. And I have some like, that's not fair. He did this. And then there, in my little, as something like, the world is not fair. And when it happens all the time, I get something with, he did it, and I always get the blame. So there's a kind of pattern yeah. uh, existing in my uh, mind, and in the amygdala, that every time that something is happening, I just got like, someone is going to blame me, and I did nothing. That's, a, that's an unconscious pattern. Yeah. That's also when it happens, no, not only with one ice cream, but when it happens certain times, in families there are patterns, then the child may make very young a uh, child decision. And it can even be more severe. When I lose as a young child one of my brothers or sisters, and there's, I really have to mourn about this, and I really notice that all the people around me are very sad or upset or stressed or... Uh, not available anymore because of that, then it will do something with me. Or a parent is, is alcohol, alcoholic or has other uh, uh, severe disease and uh, uh, all the energy goes there in, in, a, in a pattern. And even cultural things, uh, when, uh, like, the, the, like the world right now, that children on a very young age are in war in several places on, on earth. It really has impact on our patterns, on our stress levels, on our um, way to relax. So some children or persons or human are already from the start of their uh, life got in a stressed level in orange or red situations. Yeah. And then it feels like that that's our normal pattern, but it isn't. It sort of lives like a trauma in you. Yeah, we, we call it uh, trauma, and it's, it sounds as a severe word, but trauma for me is a situation happened, it gets somewhere stored at the body, and it's not going in the right part of the brain. So normally it comes like waves, it comes and it goes. But when it's trauma, it really stores in the body, and every time a situation comes up like that, my body is reacting if it's happening again. And then we call it trauma. Yeah. And that is already happening very early in time. And it even can be a trauma that my mother or my father or my grandmother or even uh, seven lines before, and I store that even in my body. Sometimes I get people at my coaching table and I said, I feel that heaviness all my life, but I have got the feeling that it's not of me. Mm. And no, most of the time that's true because we have a her heritage of our uh, ancestors and we get that patterns or we get the patterns from the people we, uh, we always said the people w w that you uh, are surrounded with, they really have impact on how you see things, how you act on things and so on. But especially from zero to seven, a lot is happening in the unconscious mind. What... Uh, even in our 40s, 50s, 60s, can, can trigger or work out. So that's, that's the first. Why, why number seven? Because I, mm. I read it like yeah. there is a scientific reason behind it, like our bodies and the cells, they, they undergo some kind of a refresh every yeah. seven years. Yeah. Is, is it something to do with this? Yeah. What I, I get uh, goosebumps when you say that. And every time I get goosebumps in my body, it's also a, then, then it's really a natural, truthful uh, uh, remark from source. So every seven years, our cells get renewed. But all patterns in life, when you look at studies that they have, mm. that the seven years is something in relationships, in the, in the stages that we are in our lives. So that's very interesting. So there is a, uh, how do you say it, an evolution line uh, when we... Uh, uh, Every seven years, something is transforming. And we have also the opportunity or the challenge to renew ourselves. And that's very interesting when we look at medicine or uh, just the natural way of energy, how it works. And we think we have to control things and plan things, but we better can make um, con contact with the flow of energy at the stage in our life when we are in. 
That's, that's interesting that you mentioned yeah. that. So this is the first seven years. And then we go to, this, to the second stage seven years, seven uh, till 14, and then you get 21, 28. But it's almost from uh, seven. And I said seven, 11 is also very, because most of the children then they are very free and still in contact with source. Mm. And with 11, something is happening. Like, the, the, some, uh, like a switch is uh, uh, put off the switch of uh, connecting with source is put off, and then we are really in the real big world, and that's an interesting part also because then things are happening and we become aware of our. I have another uh, uh, puppet there, yeah. and it's not a Matushka puppet, but I saw it somewhere here, and this is uh, the the shadow or uh, our bandit. Bandit. It's just. Uh, it's always there in every person. It's interesting because most of the time we like the, 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 the good person and the bad. We say that. But in the, the shamanic, the shamanic uh, ancient wisdom says we all have light and heavy energy. And in our heavy energy we also have our shadows. And every person has his shadows. And in the shadows there are gifts. And the gifts we have to... Uh, 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 find them, we have to search for them, we, we just learn them by accident from our life situations. As I always said, well, you have the stages, so zero, uh, seven, uh, then it comes from seven, eleven, you have then the, the, the part that says uh, uh, 14, and then you get to the stage of 25, and that's the young adult, and then we get our identity, we think, oh, we love this, we like this, but uh, through all these stages, we also meet our shadow. Mm. We got a little bit uh, like your, when you have brothers and sisters look in your family. Some of the persons are very egoistic, or they are the black sheep, or they call it, uh, uh, yeah, they are always doing it differently from the rest of the family, or they always adapt to the standards, or they are very shy, or they are very outspoken, or they are the, the artist, or they are the the builders, or, uh, yeah, they are always uh, uh, not fitting into the system. So, the, so we, 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 our soul has a task, and through all these stages, uh, we found out what we have to do in this life, but we will meet our shadow. And this is what most of the people want to have under the table, or uh, uh, get it back from ourselves, because we are not proud of that, or we are even ashamed of that, or we feel guilt about what we have done, instead of saying, okay, this also belongs to me, and I'm going to embrace it, and just going to face it, and okay, I don't like this, but when I l really look at this, I can feel that I have to learn something, of I am in this life situation because I'm doing an unconscious pattern, or I'm just doing something conscious, but that's because I'm scared. Or that's because I want to avoid something. Or that's because I want to control something. And I have to learn to get all these layers of my bandit and my shadow, that I have really one kind of energy, what we all have from source, and that's love and light. So we work through the stages from zero to where we are now, yeah. And every seven years we get a new stage and we have child conclusions. And that conclusions that are formed till almost uh, 21 years old, 24 years old, we have the most of the conclusions and the patterns we have built. And then from 21, 24 till 42. And I said that's your final adult stage. And then you go the seven year circle within and everything that's not natural that's not your green light yeah. but it's uh, an obstacle or it does not work out it gives you stress it wants to go out of of your system and then you see that people got in divorce because it's not working out they are just uh, uh, choosing a total other a career uh, or they are uh, just leaving the place where they were living, starting all over again. And it all has to do with the soul. The soul has a task and we are learning from life situations. And uh, 
just to learn that at school yeah. from very young and not to say how it works but that there's a life path and everything is there for you and everything works out for you instead of against you so where mm. comes the stress from that we say it has to be otherwise no it's in the present moment like where i'm now yeah. it is what it is and when my shadow comes there from behind or it pops up or i get the shadow from someone else uh, it's only there to learn me how i get more in touch with myself in more loving energy in more life and then i can follow my road and just offer my gifts and, and work together with people and they have their own path their own shadows and when we really make connection to that we can uh, get miracle situations, miracle relationships, uh, magic uh, uh, creations. But we really have to be aware that's all inside of us. Yeah. 